classes we have studied all type of projection we started with the method of preparing uh, or, or method of construction of projection we saw non perspective mathematically and then perspective by a projection light source and graticule then we saw how the sheet is placed perspective projections are classified in three category that is cylindrical conical and zenithal projection correct and then in the first class of this projection we saw was the cylindrical projection the cylinder is placed point of tangency is equator and then we made mathematical correction and it, it became mercator projection then we saw conical projection by choosing one standard parallel but again there was a problem in that we made mathematical modification and it became lambert's conformic conical projection and last we saw was the zenithal projection by just changing the light source we made it polar stereographic projection so now here is the summary of all projections okay let's see hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey so what we started with methods are to construct projection is either mathematically which is non perspective and then we saw perspective non perspective was mathematically simple you are creating and perspective projection was by light source and gratitude okay and then how we place the sheet perspective projections are further divided into three categories we saw cylindrical then we saw conical and then we saw azimuth okay that was very simple like if earth is there if i place how i place sheet so either i place sheet like cylindrical that becomes cylindrical projection or i put a sheet like cone it became conical projection or i just put a sheet touching anywhere and that became azimuthal projection and that is light source clear okay but then we have to make mathematical correction in this so we, we made some mathematical correction so mathematical correction we did was the scale the way it was expanding in north south direction we expanded in east west direction and that became mercator projection okay so although technically correct incorrect but some author also mentioned it as direct mercator but that's not the correct thing and we already seen mercator projection now it is my cylinder it is my globe so give me my globe my cylinder i put it anyway it is again some author write it wrong it is not correct they said the point of tangency is pole absolutely not the point of tangency is a meridian a meridian are you understanding how i put i put like this like this that's how i place my sheet point of tangency is what a meridian and it's anti meridian and you can choose anything from wherever you want and it is not difficult to visualize trust me because while sitting here you can see how the meridian will come all the meridian will come like this like a half globe can you see this something like this meridian will come and parallel of latitude actually they come equidistant like this 
And when you do this, this becomes transverse Mercator. Can you visualize this, how it has come? So basically, these are your parallel of latitude and that is how your meridians. And the procedure same, how this line is cutting meridian and how the rum line will be. It was taught and it was asked also. Now nobody knows, people have stopped reading it and people have stopped asking it. Okay. This is called transverse mercator. Okay. So, you made mathematical correction okay, and you put sheet like this. This becomes transverse mercator like it is wrong. The point of tangency is poles which many authors write. It is no. The point of tangency is meridian and it is and that you can choose wherever you want. Okay. Then we have third type of people were innovative. So, some genius person came up my globe, my earth and my sheet. It is neither touching poles nor touching equator and this also can be visualized how it comes and that is called anyone? Oblique Mercator. These are advanced projection which are not taught but again by just put at the angle and then you can visualize how it comes. So, is a conical projection we did again in that mathematical corrections. So, I hope you can understand my Hebrew that is why I am speaking also it is you make a mathematical correction in that instead of choosing one standard parallel we choose two standard parallel correct. So, in that what we did was same light source everything. So, instead of one standard parallel, we had two standard parallel, whereas in this we had only one standard parallel and this became Lambert's conformic or conical projection. Now, innovative people because this had a restriction can be used only between two latitude. So, some people decided okay, let us put one cone, uski upar ek aur cone and one more cone on top of that. It is like these questions were asked ATPL also. Okay. Now, nobody knows. So, you put one cone between two standard parallel. Okay, I put one more cone on this top of this. You can put two or more and then finally, by joining that you get a chart more than one cone and that was called, it was a given a name. Okay, this is was called international modified Polyconic. Polyconic means more than one. Polyconic projection. That was the name IMPP. International Modified Polyconic Projection. It is advanced projection, nobody asks you. But again, it was almost similar to that. You put more than one cone and then you decide from where to where you want something like that. So, that was IMPP. Okay. And the easiest one was this one. No mathematical correction, all you did what? You shifted the light source to the opposite pole and that we call it 
polar stereographic projection. This is the summary of what we have studied and all type of projection which are available. What we studied is the basic advanced. We don't use in aviation just for your interest. All those who are in much in Navy, they have their exam or the sailors, they still use oblique projection or oblique mercator, they still use uh, transverse mercator, okay, and they study. Although we have GPS, we have all kind of IRS, INS, but the basics are still taught and learnt. There is no better way to understand projection by having a globe, a sheet of paper, pen and imagination. I hope you enjoyed this class. See you soon. Look forward. More learning. Please stay tuned. More knowledge coming up on new videos. Till then, enjoy. This is your Captain Surinder Singh.